Alright, so this is video so I can take notes. Alright, I have the fuel pressure gauge hooked up to the bleeder valve, the little straighter valve. Alright, everything is off. I've got my bleeder here just in case if I need to get air bubbles out. Alright, so everything should be off. There we go. We'll release the pressure. So there we go, we're zeroed out. So I'm gonna turn on the fuel pump first. Clean my lens. Alright, so I've got a manual fuel pump switch here. Turn that on first. And we're showing about 20 to 21 psi at the fuel rail. Alright. Let's make sure we don't have any air bubbles. with as slow as this pump is going we probably do have air bubbles all right so back to 20 21 psi So that's the fuel pump switch on. I'll turn on the ignition for a second. Still 20 to 21. Now if I turn on all the fans and the gauges and stuff, that'll drop down to about 20 or 19. So let's just turn this on, turn this on, turn this on, turn this on. There we go. Alright, everything should be on now. Went down a little bit last time. Maybe about one PSI. Alright, so let's turn all this crap off. That's my dome light, that's my headlights. Turn off the fan. Alright. So. Turn the ignition off. Fuel pump off. Alright, so still at 20. We haven't bled it off yet. Just make sure we're in neutral. Turn on the ignition. Turn on the fuel pump. Check engine lights. Let it do its whole thing. All right, so that's on. That's on. Make sure we're neutral. Make sure the engine bay is clear. All right. Here we go. Turn this off. Let's see if I can do this while I'm holding my phone. I'll start it until I get well, or I'll run the starter until I get well pressure, and then, uh, then we'll hit it. Tell you what, we'll just do this. There. Neutral. Pressure still the same. Hitting the fuel pump. Alright, we still recording. Alright. So, quarter tank gas, engine's warming up. Fuel, uh, well, pressure's good, bolts are good. With the engine running, I'm showing about 25, maybe 26 PSI. I got a potato for a phone, or a potato for a camera. It's about, shit, there we go. About 25 to 26, maybe 27 PSI while it's running. Now let's disconnect the, uh, Fuel pressure regulator. All right. Put that there. 
with the fuel pressure regulator off, we're running about, about the same, maybe a little bit higher. Really not much difference at all. Let me kink off that vacuum leak. So I'm not plugging it back up, I'm just kinking off that vacuum line. So there's the fuel pressure regulator disconnected. I've kicked off the little vacuum uh, leak coming out of the vacuum line. Let's see here. What do we got now? Yep. About 26, 27 PSI, I think. Yeah, 22, 24, 26. About 27. Definitely nowhere near 30. I think it's supposed to be a 30 or 31 stock. Um, and then while it's running, it'll be 31 or 30. And then if you disconnect your fuel pressure regulator is supposed to jump up to about 39 or 40. So I'm definitely running a little low. Let's hook the fuel pressure regulator back up. Yeah, really no difference at all. Maybe one PSI? Let me check.